the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. I'm far enough away from you to be able to pull my mask down. My friends, we have come together to entomb the ashes of our brother and sister. In doing so, we recall that our bodies bear the imprint of the first creation when they were fashioned from dust. But in faith, we remember too that by the new creation, we also bear the image of Jesus who was raised to glory. In confident hope that one day God will raise us and transform our mortal bodies. And so John says to us in his Holy Gospel, Jesus says, do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still and trust in me. There are many rooms in my Father's house. If there were not, I should have told you. I am now going to prepare a place for you. After I've gone and prepared you a place, I shall return to take you with me. And where I am, you may be too. Faithful God, Lord of all creation, you desire that nothing redeemed by your Son Jesus will be lost, and that the just will be raised on the last day. Comfort us today with the word of your promise as we return the ashes of our brother and sister to the earth. Grant Ronnie and Mari a place of rest and peace where the world of dust and ashes has no dominion and confirm us in our hope that they will be raised and created anew on that day when you will raise up their mortal bodies in glory to live with you and the saints forever and ever. Amen. I firmly believe they are in heaven now, but not in their human bodies. And um, we pray that at the resurrection, at the end of the world, we will all be raised up and be with God in glory in our human bodies. Our human bodies are a very important part of who we are. You look at the, the handsome priest and you say to yourself, that's Father Stan, you know? You see me in my body. You don't see my soul. You don't see how all my sins. All you see is a gloriously handsome priest. Uh, so, again, when we die, our bodies just turn to, as you said, his ashes were quite chunky, you know? We return to the dust from which we are made. But God will raise us up, not just our souls, but also our bodies. Our bodies are part of who we are. That's why we look after our bodies and we protect our bodies. And we ask God to give us the grace that in our bodies we will be able to serve Him. In our souls, in our intellect, and especially in our relationships. And this is what brings us together today here, is our relationships to these two. Let us pray now, as Jesus taught us to pray to a Father who created them both. I like to think he stood in the bathroom looking into the mirror before he created me. <laughs> and he created me in his own image and likeness. He created me good, pure, clean, fresh, tralala. But as I grew up, I started to be naughty. We used to play postman's knock, isn't it? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> but we grew up as youngsters and we, we, uh, we didn't always do the right thing. But God loves us so much that He forgives all our sins 
unconditionally if we just ask him to. That's all we've got to do is say, Lord, I'm sorry. And every night before I go to sleep, I say, Lord, for the nasty thoughts I had about my bishop today when he phoned me, I'm sorry. For the nasty thoughts I had about this or that, I'm sorry. For the taxi driver I cursed on the road to Brooklyn, I'm sorry. And I ask him all his forgivenesses before I go to sleep. And I'm quite sure that when I close my eyes at night in bed, God grants me his forgiveness. And that is the most important thing of the lot. So we come before God at the end of our life, and we come before his throne in glory, and we ask his forgiveness. I am quite sure both of these faithful Christians come before God and say to him, Lord, we love you. We truly love you. We love you with all our hearts. We might have made mistakes in our life on earth, but we truly love you. And God will say, yes, that's why I came to earth form of my son Jesus to save you from all that and I put up with the worst the world could offer. I suffered and I paid the price for your iniquity, your sins, so you are forgiven. You are going to be with me in paradise. But one day we hope that when we meet again we will be raised up not just in our souls as baptized, as children of God, even if we weren't baptized, we are still children of God, but also in our mortal bodies. And that's why we entomb the bodies here. Only to show that we believe in the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. That's part of what the Christian creed says in every Christian church. I believe in the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. This is my body. So we inter these bodies, which are now ashes, sure, but from ashes they became mortal flesh and from mortal flesh they returned to the ashes. Let us then pray the words that Jesus taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Mary, that thou art dust, and unto dust thou shalt return, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Then you. Bless the Lord.
anybody else like to come and bless the ashes? Oh, where's the box now? Oh, there's the box. Jalen? Jalen? Jesus Christ, by the three days you lay in the tomb, you made holy the graves of all who believe in you. Grant to this couple eternal rest, and for you the resurrection and the life will raise them up to be with you in glory in their bodies in heaven, together with all the saints, until we meet again to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. May the blessing of God Almighty come upon you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now you can turn that off.